What, what you doing? Come on. I got the food. It's a one-eyed kitty. I get a stray cat almost every day. Oh, come back. Don't just run off with it. God, these sheep will need to quit watching these phones. See, all this new technology is not any good for you. They're going to use it all against you. You're going to take the new technology and go back to the old. You're going to get rid of this stuff. Can't even kill it. Anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to make an electrical power generator out of one of these AC fan motors from the microwave. So this thing won't generate any electrical power, but this little DC motor here will. So this JB Quick that you see right here is priceless. You guys need to get as much of this as you can. When it comes down to these small projects, large projects, anything you can come up with, it's very, very nice to have this. So you just mix it together. turns into almost like steel. It's very hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this and put it on the fan here. That's all we got to do. We're just going to take the motor and I'm going, to, I'm going to set it on there. Let's get a little more on there. Let that sit like that. That's going to be our wind turbine. Let's go in here and take a look at some of this on the computer. And the idea is, in our brave new world, is we're going to, we're going to use oxygen, hydrogen, and HHO. So we're going to have a, a multi-system to power our cities. And the way this works, let me show you here, the way this works, So these will be our electrical water storage tanks. This is what I wanted to show you right here. Gas driven electrical power. So we can use this system right here where we're using wind turbines and DC electrical turbine power generators, okay? And we can use oxygen gas pressure. We can use the oxygen. We can use the hydrogen. We can use ambient air. And that's what we're going to do here with this little motor. I'm going to show you how to generate that 21st century fire. We're going to make some more electricity using the wind turbine instead of the Stirling engine. You know, we have to use what we have available. A lot of people have access to wind. It gets very windy here a lot of times. So we're going to build a little prototype. I'm going to show you how it runs. So we don't have to light a single flame. We don't even have to use the hydrogen. Think about that. We just let it go. We won't even, won't even light a single flame. We'll just use the oxygen to power our entire society. So there's many ways you can do this. Many paths you can take. There's many paths you can take to the hydrogen. There's many paths you can take to the electricity. You can use the hydrogen or just the oxygen. So these reactors and stuff, they're not going to power themselves, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to come up with electrical power. You're going to need your electrolyte water storage tanks. You're going to need your gas-driven electrical power generation system, wind turbines, solar panels, whatever you can come up with. You're going to have to throw everything at it. You know, these reactors really don't power themselves. You're going to have to have that subatomic particle called the electron. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you a couple of clever ways you can generate electrical power. See, this is what we're going to talk about in this folder right here. A hydrogen moon base, oxygen powered city, underwater HHO society, and underwater reactor cores. So you put these things on the bottom of the ocean. Think about this.
you know, just coming up with ideas. You know, we're going to need new ideas and a new civilization. A new city, new, new cities we're going to build. I'm going to show you how we can generate some electrical power. Here's that wind turbine I put together. So we're going to use oxygen gas by itself, pure oxygen. So it's not even flammable. You can power your entire society just using the oxygen gas. So self-sustainability, that's what the wet cell was all about. You know, it's not just some pipe dream. You're going to be able to take care of your own future. Let me show you how this works. I don't want to waste gas here, but I'm just going to give you an example. Get the idea? And I was able to build that in just a few seconds using some JB Weld. You know, some old AC motors. I took the fan off of it and I hooked a DC motor up to it. It's all about that electron. We're going to try to develop our own electricity. We've got to have many ways to get it. There's lots of clever ways to do this. You know, we'll never light a single flame. We'll be able to use the pressured hydrogen, pressured oxygen. Think about that. You can use ambient air. Remember, there's no free lunch when it comes to generating electrical power. You have to have a continuous source of electrons to power your reactors, to make the gas. So think about it, when you turn on a hydrogen fuel cell, the first thing you're going to notice when you turn on one of these wet cells is it's a gas pressure generator. They all are. So we'll move on, we'll talk more about developing ways to generate electrical power. I want to talk a little bit more about how the way this works. Check this out. Look, if you take, I don't know if I showed you this, if you take some water, it turns into steam instantly. Instant steam. So we're going to use this system to generate electrical power to make more gas. See, that's the secret in a hydrogen society. All available electricity is turned right back into gas. So we're going to use this system in the future. It's going to power everything. See, there's a lot of different ways you can go here. A lot of different paths you can take. Let me share this with you. When you look at the water molecule, you got to ask yourself, you know, what's it made out of? Think of the molecule and then think of the atoms that are put together to make it. And then think of what the atoms are made of. So you got to understand what matter is made out of. You're going to start looking down at the subatomic particles. See, we're after that electron. That seems to be the most important piece. You know, it's hard to believe that that one subatomic particle could be so important. I mean, sure, you need all the rest of it for everything to function, but without that, we can't do anything. And all this works in reverse, too. Think about that. You can do all this in reverse. You can use the oxygen as the fuel. See, once the hydrogen becomes so much of it, the oxygen becomes the fuel. Oxygen will burn in a hydrogen atmosphere. It's blue instead of red like this. So think about that. It's just something else. 
Let me demonstrate here. I'm going to show you. You can make HHO gas doing this too. I don't want to waste a lot of fuel doing this. Let me show you. So you get the idea. So we're going to use hybrid systems. Think about that. So and the secret is you want to use this in an enclosed system. That way you don't consume the resource. We're not burning the gas until we make electrical power with it. So we're gonna make electrical power before we consume the resource like this. So when you think about the water molecule, you got to think about its design. Very intelligent design when you look at the water molecule. Now if you need a motor a little stronger, you can get one out of a, a drill. There's a 12 volt motor in here, it puts out about 15 amps. It's very powerful, you can get life support systems running with that thing. You can start a splitter cell system. So a lot of different ways you can do this. You know, I get a lot of my electronics right out of the garbage. Motors, capacitors, transistors, you name it, diodes. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this wind turbine we put together. Simple parts. Study the science. That's what's important here, you know. And the electron, that's the subatomic particle that controls everything. It's one of the most important things to man at this time. Without that, you don't have the catalyst to start the reactors. You can't get anything to run. It takes electrical power. But once you have electrical power, you can do just about anything. So let me show you this right here. If I wanted to, I could just blow on this thing and start making electrical power. Check this out. See how that works? If I want, I can hit it with a blast of hydrogen. So you can see the elements, they all contain electrons. It's how you can get your hands on them. So using the oxygen atom as fuel to power turbines. So there's lots of Cadillac ideas out there and lots of many ways you can make electricity. This is just another. It's very important, this water power planet that we're all spinning around on, you know, we're just on this thing spinning, spinning, we're not going anywhere.